Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to download and install Windows Admin Center and Windows Server 2025. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So I'm on my licensed copy of Windows Server 2025, and I'm running this on a Hyper-V virtual machine. So we're gonna install Windows Admin Center directly to this server. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll just go to Google, and on Google, we're gonna type in Windows Admin Center. It'll be the first link at the top. We can go ahead and click that. Again, just make sure it's the Microsoft.com. We'll put the link down below for you guys as well. And here we can click Download Windows Admin Center. It's gonna download that .msi, which will only take a few seconds. And I'll go ahead and click open file. Here we can see we have the wizard coming up. All right, so we'll accept the terms. We'll hit next. I'm gonna, I'll stay with only the required diagnostic data. I'll go ahead and check use Microsoft update. I'll hit next again and we'll hit next again. I'm fine with this. If this option is available to you, you can select to redirect HTTP port 80 traffic to HTTPS. In my case, it's not. And then we'll go ahead and click install. All right, and then once we're done with the installation, we can go ahead and click the link and we can see we've successfully installed version 2311. All right, and likely the first thing you would want to do after installing Windows Admin Center is to add your servers. For this example, because I'm on a virtual machine, I'm actually going to add a Windows PC. Uh, it'll be the same process for adding your servers. So I'll just click Add. And there's a few different ways to search for your computer. I'll just simply type the name. Now to connect to a computer or a server, we're simply just gonna click it. So I'll click my server. And when we first connect here, we're gonna be brought to the overview page. So we have some of the information about hardware consumption. We can see our CPU, memory, and ethernet. And then on our left-hand side here is where we have all of our relevant options. So we've got the Azure services, certificates, devices, events, firewall, and more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comments section below. and We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.